what up guys we're Saturday here coming to you with a noob to pro update this is day 111 111 of the free to play account where we are trying to get all the habitat missions complete and get the habitat like i said we are currently paused in um the mission that requires us to reach gold 2 and we are doing other stuff in the game to progress our champions gears before we can push that mission again all right in this video i just wanted to give you a brief rundown of what is happening in the game the noob pro doesn't really have a new update for you because we've all been we've been farming the dragon 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 i do have some updates in the noob pro some progress that have been done and the first one that i'll share to you without wasting much time is that high cartoon now has a speed boots of six star like most of you suggested i mean one or two people have suggested it that i should farm the um ultra nightmare to get a six star boot on high cartoon which is my speed lead that i use for the arena and that boosted her speed by an additional 10 i guess and we're currently at 273 speed we're not yet pushing for the gold two yet we're just you know trying to boost other champions also she's not the only one that does the work she goes first yes and then what we still need to place the decrease defense we still need to place the increase attack we still need to nook so the nook is the next thing that i'm going to be working on and i'm thinking the person that i will use for that is this new champion what's her name i talked about it in the previous video Philgia, because of that a3 that actually does a huge nook for the waves i'm thinking of using this champion as my nook because of the increase um crit rate and increase crit damage that she places as a passive before she takes her nook so that's the champion that i'm hoping to develop before we can push that goal too i don't want to do it and struggle with kale that's just the truth kale can do 50k hit 60k hit but that's the new update i wanted to share to you and while we are actually in this um champion page i did take this champion to 50 and i was gonna gear this champion to use and beat the um, what do you call this boss I did say it in the previous video I was going to build it but I'm kind of low on silver. I was supposed to beat this Scarab boss with this champion and Amiga and if I'm going to gear to regear two champions and I'm sitting on 200 silver it's not going to be possible. So the reason why I'm actually low is because I took that high cartoon speed boots to 16 and that kind of took away my 3 million silver that I was saving to to boost um, Lodric Falcon Heart and um, Amiga to be but hey, Doom Tower is not where we are foc focused on. If we can do it, fine. If we can't, we will leave it and ignore it. The only thing that it means we cannot maybe do some advanced quests that requires us to beat the Doom Tower five times. So, because I don't really want to farm that Doom Tower for now until we can do it. All right, we can see the portal is currently glowing. What color is this? I don't know colors. Green? Blue. Okay, this is blue. <laughs> this is green. This is blue. All right. It's currently glowing blue but it's not for what you think it's not a 2x ancient event that's for next week so if you're a newer player like my account i have 33 ancients here this is not the time for me to pull my shots you have to wait for when there's a 2x event but for older players who are afraid of getting duplicates during a 2x event and they are sure of a guaranteed champion event like this one of 150 ancients can guarantee them a new champion they might want to pull 150 ancients for this champion now for my main account where i have maybe 90 or close to 100 ancient shards me buying 50 more ancient shards to get this champion might be worth it but i wanted to take a look at i've seen others say stuff about him but i really don't know his skills so if this is the first time you're meeting this champion welcome archbishop pin troy so he's new to the game it's brand new secret order legendary champion nobody expected it to happen of course Playroom can give all they can give us 4 1 in these days before they release champion because they are not currently working at full capacity, as you all you all know, because of what is happening over there. So let's take a look at this champion. Of course, he looks mean. He looks like <laughs> what is on his head? His face is what really gets you. It's not even the outfit, it's his face that just looks like a mean archbishop. secret order so he perfectly suits in well with the secret order because of how he's dressed and of course his um, name archbishop pintroy so on his a1 let's find out what he does he attacks one enemy transfers one random debuff from himself to the target 
also has a 75 percent chance of stealing one random buff that's not such a special skill steal buff transfer debuff it's all right i guess and um, that means he needs accuracy for that to happen on his a2 places 50 percent increase accuracy buff on all allies for two turns then attacks all enemies so he increases our accuracy by 50 percent places a 50% heal reduction debuff on all enemies for two turns. Heal reduction is not that special in raid these days. It's you don't have bosses that really really require heal reduction right now. Also has a 75% chance of placing block buff debuff on all enemies for two turns. Now th that one is useful. Block buff debuff for two turns is awesome. And then if you book this champion, it's available for the next time. No. Yes, it's still useful. Even if it's at a two-turn cooldown, if you build him fast enough, you'll be able to place it again before they can maybe take their turn. So it's extremely useful for the, um, especially for the Hydra. Well, not all rotations of the Hydra, but at least we know where we now currently use this skill. This um, debuff used to be on useless in raid. That's the truth. Especially uh, less in arena, in some special teams where you use them. But these days, it's highly, highly useful in certain bosses. So you prevent them from placing buffs on themselves. All right. In the A3, heals all allies by 30% of their max HP. 30% heal is huge and it's a four-ton cooldown. So it's not that. I mean, it's a, it's a legendary champion. Why not make this skill on a three-ton cooldown? But let's see what else it brings. Then places increased defense on all allies. Well, increased defense is okay. If four or more allies are alive, also places a shield buff on all each ally for two turns equal to 30 percent of their max hp all right now i see why it's on a four turn cooldown when it is booked because it brings a lot of course you always have four or more allies alive that's if you go first so if you use this skill first well yeah, he's not gonna start with this skill. doesn't make sense to start with this skill. this will probably be his second skill on a passive he has removes all decreased defense debuffs and weaken debuff from this champion at the start of each turn this passive does not have a cooldown i hope I've not as I don't know if I have sent it what I to show, but it doesn't seem like it has a cooldown. It doesn't. So he will remove decreased defense and weaken. So he cannot have decreased defense and weaken on him, I guess. Except when it happens before he takes his turn. So that looks like a cool champion. There's a special uh, um, condition here that champions from Demon Spawn on Dead Horde and Night Red Faction cannot resist this debuff so he has special um advantage over these factions i guess that's a lot though it's not just one or two it's actually one two three four factions so we can't complain that this is bad this is bad it's that they made it this time that <laughs> he will not be they will not be able to resist four factions cannot resist his debuffs so i guess that makes up for it being like this still so will i be going for this champion on my main account judging from how i checked out his skill there's no particular one that stood out to me to say okay this legendary will be used for this place it just seems like a general champion to keep your team alive like a healer and um, block stop the enemy's team from taking their huge abilities by placing block and um, buff debuff so he he seems like a normal champion it doesn't seem that special healer increased defense and and all that heal reduction is a support champion like it says here so it's not a champion that i feel it's worth pulling 150 ancients over that's just the truth so you if you get him later in the day you get him later maybe months later but it's not one that i'll pick right now and build i have support champions a lot of them you think an arbiter alone is enough support that he, that does heals and revives and all that he doesn't even bring a revive so that's maybe one thing that should have added to his ability maybe to make him special anyways that's this um what's his name again archbishop pintroy i will not be going for him on my new on my main account even if i'm afraid of getting duplicates i'd rather wait for all my shards to be pulled next week when there's a 2x ancient and if i get a duplicate i will like yeah whatever <laughs> all right um that's what i wanted to check out the main thing i wanted to check out in this account and also tell you that the noob to pro has gotten a little bit more speed on high cartoon is there any other thing i need to show yes i managed to almost win the dragon tournament because we've been farming dragon for a long time 
using all our energy that we've been getting this entire week on the dragon but somehow before i could wake up and do my final push somebody snuck up behind me and stole my first position from me so now we are stuck with the second position in that dragon tournament i could have really used that um, um relentless gear because we're trying to build that up for when we get sealed the drake finally to put out on relentless but it's a sad one that somebody just knock up behind me and stole it from me so let me see if we can get any good relentless piece from i've not claimed it i wanted to wait for the video i also have one more last information to share with you guys um regarding the referral program a lot of okay that's it dragon tournament has ended let me claim it right now because i was farming it all night long and that's why we had so much um points accumulated i didn't know that somebody was sneaking behind me when i while i was asleep come on by how many points oh well see not even that many points he just snuck up behind me and stole it the number one spot all right so let's claim it and go see what it actually gives us in terms of the gear filter for relentless just new Ooh, all this oh it's actually six pieces i guess first position was also five star but I guess that was a legendary or was it six star but um epics also I didn't see. Ah, it's not a five-star boot, of course. I really, really need um, relentless boots. Well, this is defense and it has um, speed also, so this is nice. If I roll it once, will it roll speed? That's what we want to see. He did not roll speed. If he rolled triple speed, that would have been nice. So this is also HP percentage. Well, it did give us some good relentless, useful relentless species at least. Not what those ones you just get them and immediately you sell them. Can it go speed? Yes, it did go speed. Can I get a second speed? I don't have enough silver to even make this happen. Art Artifact enhancement event just ended. That's why you see me doing it right now. I would have waited, but no. Nah, it didn't go double speed. Well, we're still gonna use it this doesn't have speed does it it has crit though so what i need from this is like hp or crit since it will be for sealed drake she needs hp mostly defense though it went the wrong way also come on now this is trash this is pure trash check out the substat attack defense and resistance this went four speed which is not what we want we want five speed six speed but hey we're gonna use them all that's what we got from that Pool. um anything else yes i did spend all my um I, I went to accessories just new i did spend all my arena what do you call it clan boss clan clan tokens i always forget what it's called i did spend all of them about 1000 on these pieces that you get clan gold yes that's what it called from the clan gold or the clan shop i did buy all of them before it ended before the reset happened and what i got was hp ring defense ring defense so remember we're still looking for banners on this account that's why you see me still spending my arena clan gold on these items so we are getting counter attack all counter attack accessories though this is hp with attack no so we didn't get any well we did get a banner right here it's resistance banner that's not what we want this is HP banner with 5 speed. I'm looking for that accuracy banners. We need accuracy banner. Well, we didn't get any this time around. Last week, we did get one nice accuracy banner. So, no luck for us this time from. So, if you've not claimed or if you've not spent your clan gold, it has reset. Head over there and get some new um, quests. I've already picked up quests for this week and I'm currently doing one of them, which is their tag team arena offense battles increase attack i'll do 200 of them then tomorrow i'll pick up another one so we're still doing elite quest over there so i'll be spending on energy this week on this um clan shop because i'm currently using the energy a lot for to farm artifacts because we are now at dragon 20. um we had a mission from the clan quest that required us to beat 
or place um i think what do you call it simultaneous debuffs on ice golem 15 or so i didn't think i could do it but i went into the ice golem and surprisingly we went from 13 to 15 in the ice golem I, it was a totally manual run so that's f progress i guess for ice golem the first time we we're actually pushing ice golem a little bit with our newly found dragon 20 team i just took them over here with the poisoners and they made it happen so that's also some progress over there we have not yet pushed anything else in terms of um, spider or fire knight only dragon that's what we focused on so um there's something that came to my mind i did get some epic books last week no day before yesterday and i spent it on um venomage because venomage is currently the weak link in that dragon team <laughs> once she's targeted the runs just become extremely long so I did get some epic books and I spent it on her. So right now she has one book here and one book here. So that's two books actually that I spent on her from the dragon. So Brutal and Hard did give me some epic books that I spent over here, which is always nice. So all my books will be coming over here until all our skills are maxed. So that dragon team might perform faster before I now begin to spend more books back on this um Muslim mage who actually needs his skills on cooldown over here before he can perform faster and have it a lot on um here is what i wanted to share about the referral program before we end the video for briggy this account creator finally hit level 50 so i wanted to thank you for taking the time to actually create a referral account under the noob to pro and following it up all the way to get this final reward of getting level 50 so i'm gonna claim it right in this video i didn't want to do it off the video so although it has taken your name off the list we still know <laughs> who you are in the in the comments and we know when you registered and helped us get this so the final reward is over here which will also get us an extra um secret shot over here so hopefully we get that one going before the next will it be possible before the next 2x ancient i mean 2x secrets i don't know but we'll see but right now we, we do have two secrets sitting in our inventory that we're not going to pull until there's 2x secrets coming up so i wanted to thank you especially for that your effort in that one all right that's all the noob to pro update i can um give to you tonight there's nothing special happening to the account than me spending all my resources on the dragon so hopefully by the time i give an update is when we have finally pushed some more champions to 60 in terms of our new nuka that we want to use to replace kill or help kill in the arena which is filja and i'll be working with this champion to get masteries and everything on her but i can't put books on her yet until i'm done with putting books on my um, dragon team see it, it, that means it's gonna probably take about two weeks finally before we fully book venomage and now move on to Filger, but she will hit 60 and get her masteries but the books might be delayed all right that's all the noob to pro updates if you have any questions comments um drop them below um i'll see you guys in the next one good night